So I did an experiment for the last four years. You just didn't know it yet. I'm basically Stephen F. Hawkins right now. Today's video has been at least three years in the making. A long time ago in a galaxy, well, the Midwest, we had a small seductive business of LS swapping cars and also just taking people's projects that they gave up on and uh, parking them in what I called my field of dreams. That's also where I parked projects I, I give up on and kind of make like a, a, a car collection, but outside with rust and tetanus. But this car is near and dear to me, or basically the only one dumb enough to stick around. When I was in high school, I dreamed of owning a 1963 Buick Riviera. Unfortunately, my dreams were also met with a, a budget. The budget wasn't good. And uh, the budget got me a car that didn't really have an, a functional engine. So instead of taking a car off the road, I did the next best thing and dumped new GM garbage into old GM garbage. This is a 2008 5.3 LS engine. Um, I say LS because, well, we're not gonna, no, you're not, you're not gonna do that to me today, internet. We kept running into some issues with spark plug wires and aftermarket headers getting all, <sighs> a lot of sexual tension in that area. They kept melting. Now, of course, you have the option of using the stock spark plug wires that have that little metal shield on it, but that can just make the heat go in there faster. So I'm not sold on that solution, at least from my experience with aftermarket headers and heaven forbid you put some sort of power adder in there to really crank up the love action. So in true fashion, the last time I took this thing out, she started running like she, lo she lost half the cam. Uh, and I wouldn't say losing the, uh, lifters is unnormal in these engines. Personally, I always feel that the easiest way to tell if an LS engine is running, if it's got lifter tick or a belt squeal, she's good. <laughs> but this is what I found underneath there. Yep, that's a little sparky poo-poo where the silicone is finally wasted away against the header. On this side, we've obviously got some love at 425 degrees. Looky here on this side, this side is also at approximately love 425 degrees or whatever temperature I just said, but it's got a fiberglass sleeve to protect it from all those mean, nasty heat waves. So which one survived and which one didn't? Well, foreshadowing, the other one didn't survive. But let's pull them off and look at them and also pull the spark plugs on this thing because uh, it's been four years. And you know what they say, after you get your junkyard LS swap running for four years and tuned, by some guy who thinks he knows what he's doing after the truck you swapped it out of ran off a cliff and rolled seven times. You better check your spark plugs to make sure they're still there at this point. Start ripping at it like, come on. Just keep ripping at it and event. Come on, dude, bro, bro. Ugh. Okay, okay, you got that end out, so that's be easy. Now you just start ripping at the other end and eventually it's gonna come, come on, no. Okay, perfect. It came out. This, this one we're gonna be a little bit more delicate on because I'm not saying my other method wasn't good. I'm just saying I wanna show you my tubes. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Hey, that, what? Is that burned? It's not. It's been, is it? It's stained. It's been like bleached from the header. Okay, I cannot wait to get the fiberglass sleeve off of it. Let's take the other side off real fast and see what kind of things we're, things we're with now. Things. Contestant number one, step on down. You're the biggest loser in my life. I don't know where we were driving. We lost a cylinder and had a misfire code. You know, seven out of eight ain't half bad. That's three quarters of the way to an engine. So using some electrical tape and fear mongering, I believe is the correct term, we got her back on the road or, well, it's never off the road. It should have been, but we got it back to moving, kind of. Contestant number two though, Oh yes, yes, step on down. You're the next contestant on Garbage in Matt's house. So we'll just slide this little spark plug condom off. And oh, what? Um, okay, so the fiberglass spark plug shield from eBay, um, literally the cheapest one that you can find is amazing. <laughs> what is this? I don't, this doesn't make any sense. But aside from bleaching, it's fine. They were both sitting on the header like tight, like like you have to pull the sleeve and you can hear it like grind against the header. <laughs> Contestant number three has its own little special place because I've been running a second consecutive test, uh, consecutively testing a different design of spark plug wire, which is an angled boot. I found that uh, this is also cheaper on O'Reilly's so they don't have to warranty a set of spark plugs every time I burn one up. Taylor, the company that made these isn't gonna tell you this, but, but I will. 
you can cut about a quarter of an inch off the end and then that'll slip it down just a little bit all the way of a header and you really won't have too many issues. Now you might start a few fires, it, it, it might explode. There's always the possibility of death by decapitation when you're driving something like that. So uh, take that with your own, you know, science experiment in mind. So let's gab up some new set of plugs and put the new wires on. Well, I've got From my last broken heart Somehow more than what I had to start Yeah, I've got spare parts I tried to think Best I will now put it. I hope it runs when I fire it up. Cause I got spare parts. So if you see something that you might need, anything you left of it might be a perfect thing cause I got spare parts now it's time to get these little guys installed so I like TR5s and 55s <laughs> uh, prepare to go down the rabbit hole if you want to start researching what plugs to use and what to gap them at on the internet for LS engine. Dudes will literally rub all over each other and then fight and punch and love uh, for the dumbest things imaginable. Uh, and spark plug gaps and spark plugs on an LS engine are right up there. My personal two cents is just stick with an NGK and stick it in your nonsense at approximately 40 thousandths gap, and 40, maybe 42 if you're feeling a little dirty. Um, and then just drive it. Nobody cares. It's gonna run. It's a Chevy, unless it doesn't run. <laughs> and then you get me, so don't be afraid to, you know, customize your Harbor Freight tool set when you're dealing with aftermarket headers. Every once in a while you're gonna run into something's garbage, whether it's the aftermarket header company or the manufacturer, it's honestly all garbage because that's exactly what I've done. Nothing goes out in flames like a Harbor Freight socket just getting chewed up at 20,000 RPMs by a piece of stone. If you're thinking you're gonna have to cut one of these bad boys from the bad boys club, don't do this step quite yet, but if you're ready to install your bad boys into your bad boys dance club, I guess, go ahead and slather on some dielectric grease. They gave you that little, little tiny package, but you need big packages. I know you, and you've seen videos of me on the internet. So really fill them in there and spread it around and get that love in there. Oh yeah, that felt good. Like a terrible fitting glove. Remember, don't do that yet if you need to cut any of this off to kind of give her that custom touch. Because uh, if you do do that cut little bit, a little guy bit, you gotta pull your boot down a little bit and rearrange how this innards happens. If you don't do that, all your little zippity doodads, dods will pop out and shock things, which is fun, but not fun for you or me or you. Actually, do wop bitty boo dee dee do sing and boo wop do wop do wop pee diddy boo pee diddy boo pee diddy boo. Come on, get on there. Well, look at all that. That's a job. Well, it's it's done. Just take it all in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's nice. There's only one thing left to do now, and it's to treat yourself to a drive. Always drive them after you do stuff like this because, well, you earned it, probably, maybe. Well, I didn't say it was gonna be a long drive or a good one, but that's all we've got time for today. Let's go get some Subway sandwiches. I've got a hankering for it for some random reason. You guys have a good one.